Hey everyone, Rich and Nick here with another monthly pickups video. Uh, picked up quite a bit this month, but probably not as much as I would have picked up uh, since it's my birthday coming up. Um, actually, tomorrow at the time of recording this, so but that's just some, something different to us. So, uh, before I start blabbing on, let's uh, start with the games I've been buying. Um, this one I bought last month, um, but I forgot to mention. But if you saw my um, interesting finds video, pull down a bit. There we go. Never really did this before. Um, starting to record, but anyway, that it is Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's a game I did pick up in in that bundle of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. So yeah, happy to have this. I do have this on uh, 3DS because I've been administrator program um, through you know buying it on buying it before they, they dropped the price on that. But yeah, it's good to have a physical copy. Possibly a keeper, I'm not too sure, but anyone really interested, let me know. So I'll just put that there for now. And let's carry on with the rest of the stuff I've got. Um, before I go on to the actual video games, I'll talk about some board games I've picked up. Um, yep, this is something I've been thinking about getting into for a while. I'm not sure how much I'll, I'll get into it. It's probably just a little thing. I'll just buy a couple of board games as and when I see them. I'll be going out to pay, pay huge amounts if I see them in charity shops or or out and about um, for a good price and I'll pick them up and the first one I got here is Atmosphere uh, which is also known as Nightmare before the change name so, so it wouldn't confuse it with the TV show um, Britain at the time which is called Nightmare so they changed it to Atmosphere and this is part of the At Atmosphere series, the first game in the series so it's a possible candidate for a review. I'm not sure if I'll get into board game reviews because I don't want to rip off um, James Ralph does the board board James um, videos. But if, uh, possibly something I might look into. And if you think it's worth me talking about board games, um, let me know and I'll possibly do a review of it. And um, second board game I got this month. Uh, I think in the loft I've got the. Uh, Lord Rings one, I'm pretty sure I have, uh, but here's the prequel, and that is The Hobbit. Um, I think there's different versions of this actually, but I'm not too sure. But yep, yeah, this is a uh, fun little game which, which I play with my nan actually, and it's uh, pretty fun. I won, of course, but not because I was cheating, I'm, I never cheat most of the time, but I didn't cheat with that. But yeah, it's a fun game. That that again, that might be something I might review in in another video, not to do with the retro replay, but something different entirely, perhaps. But again, let me know. These ones are, I won't be keeping them in my room. I'll probably put them in the loft so it's all nice and safe. So yeah, that's all I'll say about about that. But I will bring them down every now and again. And if I move the camera, then um, if I do decide to review them, then I'll bring them down. Um, well, I'll have to see if I can get other people to play, but who knows. Now, on to some games I've been picking up either from charity shops or blockbusters or just gotten really cheap. Um, this one is part um, of a pick. Uh, I'm, I'm missing some of the games, I think, because I didn't write them down, I forgot to write them down. But this is one of them that I can clearly remember that is Capcom Classic Collection Vol Volume 1. Or loads of classic Capcom games. Um, I got this in a bundle off eBay. Though I wasn't too pleased from from the bundle because the discs was really badly scratched from most of them. But this one's pretty or, or good, so I'll be keeping this one in the collection. So overall, not too bad. And there are others, and I do not know, but they're in the trade pile at the minute, so I won't bother getting those. Um, Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends. I got this from a charity shop for a pound, and this usually goes for five plus pounds on eBay, so not bad, I don't think. And next one, the same charity shop for a pound, Escape from Monkey Island. Actually, I think the charity shop I went to they usually charge two pounds for PlayStation 2 games, but I don't, but I uh, might be wrong on that, so I might, have got, I might have got a sneaky little deal there, but don't say anything. But, but still money went to charity so you can't complain too much. Uh, game I picked up from GameStation. I couldn't be seeing games for the 5 for 10 or 5 for 5 pound offer but I picked this up. Um, Dragon Guard. Um, had some points on my uh, GameStation card so I used those. So it would have cost me um, 2 99 I think. 
this is a receipt, but I think it paid um, 70p for it, so not bad. So this goes for around £5 on eBay, I think, or plus that. And next, next one is probably a pretty common one, but it does go for at least £5 on eBay, as, as I said. Uh, that's Hyper Street Fighter 2, the anniversary edition, uh, celebrating the 15 year anniversary of Street Fighter at the time. And it includes a Street Fighter 2 animated movie. So that's pretty cool. So it's probably the best version of Street Fighter 2 after releasing God knows how many versions of the same game. It's pretty, supposed to be pretty common, but supposed to be a good game. So if you're interested, check it out. So this is probably a keeper for me. And that's one I picked up on my travels. But I've, I've, There's another pile here, but I'll go to get into that in a minute. Um, it is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I got this for the PS2, uh, but I haven't got the GameCube version, so it, from the looks of it, it doesn't look that different, but I could be wrong because it links up with the uh, Game Boy Advance, so I might have some features. So if you get the Game Boy Advance version of this game, it might. I don't know, this is another Game Station book. It was 49p, so I thought might as well. Came in with the instructions and the manual, so pretty good there. And um, now we'll get this part out of the way. First off, um, a mo movie game related item which I got for me, uh, Amazon, and that's his Halo Legends. So I'm not too sure if this is any good, but it, lo it looks pretty good. So yeah, it's got hot, seems to have the right range, so I thought I'd give it a try. I do like the Halo games, not a massive fan, but still, it's good, good, good games to play overall, and good to see how this effect fares. I'm not sure if you have to play all the games up to. Number uh, Halo Reach, if you have to understand it, but um, spare uh, six, uh, seven story site um, to do with the Halo universe. So, be watching that at some point. Here's a bu bundle of demo games I got. That's not really my sort of thing, but I'll, no, I'll just took a punt on it just randomly. But I'll just tell you the uh, first two I got in, in this bundle, I'll explain in a minute. Um, don't have the discs. This is um, demo disc 32 and demo disc uh, 63 for the official PlayStation 2 magazine. Uh, but they don't have the disc. I'll show you. No disc. And I got it from the charity shop, so they, they either didn't check or forgot to put them in. I've no idea. But oh well. Apart, apart from that, there's a pretty, pretty decent deal on demo disc. So I'll show you those. First ones are PS World. Uh, DVD uh, volume 17 uh, for April, and that um, that has Star Wars Race of Revenge is one of the main demos, and it's got all the details there. And so, yeah, but if, if anyone's interested in these, let me know because I might be putting these up for trade. I'm not 100% sure if they're worth anything, but again, I took a punch on it. And next one is PSW volume 48 with the Burn That Free Takedown, and it has. Uh, PS W PS PlayStation World uh, Driver Free um, Secrets Guide, or oh, I think hmm. it's all, all complete. And the disc, most of these discs are in pretty good condition. A few scratches on some of them, but other than that, not too bad. I don't think. And we start off with the. Actually, I'll start off from the bottom. It'll be a bit easier. Um, first one I have is. Uh, this one, uh, Demo Disc 15, um, released at Christmas 2001. I think this is my. I think I might have had this at one point. I'm not sure if this is the same one. I doubt it is, but basically, this is probably the first demo disc I actually ever got. So interesting. So there's that one. It, uh, all these are complete as well. Um, next one is Demo Disc 18, right there. Next one with the Final Fantasy X uh, demo, it's um, disc, Demo Disc 20, May 2002. So you quite a, get quite a few demos and it says on the front mostly what they have, um, what games and how long and how many and other stuff. But mostly at the back, this is Demo Disc uh, 21, June 2002. Uh, next one is Demo Disc 47, June 2004. Yep. 
through these quickly. Uh, demo disc 58, April 2005, with uh, Area 51. Um, demo disc 59, May 2005, uh, with Lego Star Wars. Um, this one is um, demo disc 60, June 2005, and that has um, SingStar Pop World. Exciting. And next one has got a war demo. Um, demo disc 62, August 2005. And lastly, um, we have demo disc 67, Christmas 2005. Quite a few demo discs there. Um, these came separately, um, se seven per pack, and I think it's £1.49 for a pack of se seven demo discs. So they're just like bundled them together and just sold them. Like that, uh, seven, seven of these for one forty nine each. I got uh, both, so that was just three pounds paid for all all of these, and um, and including the two over here, which don't have the discs, which is a bit of a downer. But I'm not going to complain too much because I've got a good price in it. So if these are worth anything, or anyone's interested in them, let me know. And I'm not sure if they're keepers of my collection, but um, I don't know. Something I've got to think about. I don't know what some of you think careful thinking is bad for you. I've heard that joke quite a bit, so. Uh, carrying on. Um, from all these are retrotation pickups, not all of us from the same at the same time, but over time I picked these up. First one, I've got Game Bit Kit. Uh, basically, this is for maintenance of games and consoles, which use the uh, Phillips screwdrivers, I think. Uh, we well, you, you use a normal screwdriver, but these are special ones, so you can open what like, NES, SNES. Um, Mega Drive, uh, Master System, and even N64 cartridges and any systems with those awkward screws. So, pick these up. Um, available at Retro Station. So, pick them up for seven pounds. So, you get the screwdriver and diff two different screws to fit in the different uh, fit even, even the, to open up the cartridges or the consoles. So, yes, uh, very useful. I'll be using this for a lot of cleaning and maintenance in the future. Um, most recent one, uh, Sudo uh, so, oh, can't pronounce this properly, uh, Sui Koden 4. Uh, supposed to be a pretty uh, popular RPG series on the PlayStation. The first two or three on, yeah, you know, there's three on the PlayStation, I believe, um, and they go for quite a bit, but this one was fairly cheap, so I haven't had that. Have some unique RPGs. Uh, to my collection, and this one's a bit of a cross between Zelda and Super Mario RPG, I think, and that is Landstalker: The Treasures of King Knoll. It's all boxed to complete with uh, the Wii Wii Winky, as X Files Twenty Seven Eight would usually say. So that that's a game I'll be playing at some point. Um, for the New Year Pocket Color, I have first off. The Match of Millennium, SNK vs Capcom, got a good deal on this, and also on Biomotor Unitron. So, both of these would have, this these would usually cost, uh, this one would cost about £20 upwards at best, depending on condition and where it's complete. Probably realistically £30 you're looking, and this one, easily £50 plus for this, but I've got these uh, both uh, fifty pounds, so very happy uh, with the great deal Craig didn't even notice. And we're coming to the end, I think. Oh, that's over there. I've uh, got some Mega CD games towards my collection because I might go for a full collection, but I know there's some pretty rare ones such as Snatcher, which I think is more sought after than rare, but I could be wrong. Again, there's Theme Park, but that's extremely rare. I know that much because um, I know Gaz, who's on the podcast for me, uh, Tuning Gaming, uh, sold it for hundred plus pounds on eBay, I think, or sold it to somebody, but got a good deal on that. So uh, we have Thunderhawk, a, sh a shoot 'em up or a flight simulator game. I'm not sure if it's similar to Top Gun or anything, but it looks pretty interesting. Didn't pay too much for this, so another one to watch the collection. Echo the Dolphin, or Echo the Dolphin, however you want to pronounce it. That's all complete. 
So there goes towards my Echo or Eco collection. And probably the um, one of the most sought after ones for the Mega CD, and that's Sonic CD. <coughs> so, yep, glad to have this. I've got this on the PlayStation Network downloaded, but it's good to have an actual physical copy of the game. So, yep, they've got a good deal on those. I can't remember how much, but um, as, as many of you, you know, go to Retrostation, Craig does a good deal depending on how much you buy and what you buy. And the last one uh, is Contra Legacy of War. I think it's the first game game in the Contra series to actually use the name Contra rather than Pro Protector. As of, I've got the NES version of Pro Protector, um, which, which is also known as Contra. This is uh, Contra Legacy of War. And something pretty strange about this actually is that it's been signed. I've no idea if that's a developer's signature. Let's do a close up. Menu fell out. I, I honestly don't, don't know. If anyone can recognise this um, signature, please let me know. If not, I'll be uh, wiping that off. There'll probably be someone just signed it just to say this is my copy of the game. But if anyone knows, please let me know. I think it's missing the 3D glasses because it's got 3D capabilities with the uh, green and red thing, but. Oh, I just nearly forgot. One second, I forgot about them. I hope it's remembered. Um, for the NES, they got gone down to the market. These were two pound fifty each. Uh, from got them from two different market stores. So uh, this one is Jack N Nick Lewis. Uh, it's a basically it's a golf game, Buck and Army. Uh, it came with a sleeve uh, for two pound fifty. I thought, why not? These aren't really worth much more than the fiver, but to get them for two pound fifty rather than paying. The price is on eBay for a decent deal. Uh, Time Lord with the sleeve. Um, this this sticker here that was uh, peeling off, but I did stick it back down so it looks better. I'm not sure if you can tell. It's probably not even. It's, I think it's got a little. Could be could have been done a little bit better, but uh, save, saves it falling apart and going to waste and just peeling off completely and tearing off. Um, I have looking that over. This is. Uh, super off road, uh, one one of the few um, four player games. I'm not sure how many there are. I think there's uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and there's probably a couple of NES games that are four player compatible. But I've no idea. This is supposed to be a pretty decent game, which you can get around uh, the controls and everything. And the last one is Solstice, uh, the quest for the Stafford Demons, or of Demons. Sorry, I don't know if that's right, but Solstice, I'll just call it. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. I picked up. So get a bit closer. Okay. Um, this has gone on long again. Didn't mean to go on this long, but I just ramble on. So I need to cut this down. But if you like me rambling on and talking about the games, I'm just like showing you this is a game. It's another game, and so on and so forth. Uh, just. Let me let me know and I'll try and cut this down down and just be straight up. This is what I've got from wherever and paid that how much for it. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you a bit of story behind some of them or just make it more interesting. But again, I'm blabbing on. This is coming on near 20 minutes, so I'm going to stop here before I blab on anymore. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Ciao.